Hi, in this video I'll try to explain some connection options for the clear path uh, servo motors. Uh, these servo motors, they're uh, usually one horsepower, and this one particularly it has less RPM rated uh, because of the use for the stereo and project I was doing. So. I left a quick release there. So this one has like 800 RPM uh, max speed. Uh, it can accelerate more, but it won't have that much torque. But anyway, so um, usually uh, they run about 2,000 RPM. These motors. And, um, so let me see. The thing about these are they power on DC, 74 volt. 75 volt DC so you can see the power supply actually it's this size it's not that much big there's a big capacitor there and uh, I think it's only two three amps capacity and uh, you can actually see on the clear path configuration software uh, how much is left when it's used. For example, it can go over it for a short period of time and uh, still have enough uh, energy stored inside the capacitor to go on. Um, so I'll go back to that again. All right. So I have set up a quick uh, demonstration here. Like uh, I, I don't have gearbox because I'm using it directly in torque mode, so to use it in velocity mode I need this to run loads of rotations before it goes to the output uh, since I don't have matching gearbox for it right now I used uh, a little uh, uh, tape uh, recorder or something I think it was VCR recorder uh, mechanism for uh, that uh, looks very close to the warm gearbox uh, that you know the way the gearing is so I use that to connect the position sensor which is right here so there's like a few gears there's one gear back there you can see it rotating and driving the sensor so it's all connected with a little elastic uh, band there's not much pressure there but it's enough to rotate uh, the little gear there so I measured how many rotations I need from the motor for the sensor to go a fully rotation so it's uh, 10 to 1 so let's say it's 10 to 1 reduction I'm saying that because uh, uh, the settings I may saw here uh, for this system like it is now uh, it could be very stable in this one but uh, if you have a less reduction, 3 to 1, it, it won't be stable. It, you need to reduce some values or increase some values to make it stable. Um, also, the sensor I used is 360, that's what I have available right now for my testing. It's magnetic uh, contactless sensor. So, it's not set there, so I'll show you a little trick how to calibrate the center so right now I have uh, everything powered the motor has power but it's off so I'll just enable it for this reason I connected uh, I made a little breadboard instead of connecting all the cables that's the only cable actually that go on there the control cables are the blue wire that come there and the other one the black one is the power so what I'm doing it has like three actually inputs which one is the enable input the input A input B so in the enable input uh, I have to feed it 5 volt so I put between there a normally close switch so when it's pressed the system is off it's not enabled it then goes to the enable here and uh, on the input A um, I set uh, I set that for the direction 
which could be out one or out two. So if you see here, it could be either on out one or out two. So right now the way I connected the sensor, it it uh, balances to the sensor. When I have it on out two, I'll show what happens when I go to out one. And the second, uh, third is the input B. That this is the pull switch modulation channel that controls the speed of the motor. And uh, I have it connected here. And you can see here the same on ground A, B, and enable. So the enable gets power directly from the 5 volts there. The lighter green, uh, green heater on the bottom is the plus, plus 5 volt, and the ground is the other one on top. So I have two wires there. It goes there. It's a little breakout there. Alright, so I'll just uh, arm it. Let's release it. Alright, so everything now is calibrated. If I rotate it, you will see I'll get the direction. Now the output is not on the motor, this is what happened inside before the gearbox. So after the gearbox, you will see that it gives me 180 degrees on its direction. Alright. So, um, let me show some stuff now. So say for example I don't connect the correct out 2 for the direction, I change it to out 1. Um, right now it's balanced, nothing will happen, but uh, let's say for example that I get it out of balance. Well, that's what's happening, it's just bouncing points. So how that looks, uh, in the Fabian's configuration software it will look like this, it will go to the extremes at back. So let me plug it back to out 2 that I have it here and you will see the motor stops immediately to the proper position and then it will be in the middle, that's the middle position, 50%. So, if I I'll move it up and down manually, you'll see it goes down, set this again, all the way up. Right now it takes time to go there because of the way I set it here, the reduction it takes time to go from one point to another. It could be much much faster, but for demonstration reasons, I think that's pretty uh, good, given everything is all... Um, anyway, so, let me go on. So, uh, the sensor is connected, uh, actually you can see it's very sensitive when I move it. It's probably even because I touch it from the power. That's one reason you have to use sealed wire, so anything, nothing can affect it. Alright, so it has to be like sealed wire, so all the signals could be close inside it, grounded at the same time, so no external noise can affect it. Um, so the you can see that I connected on the small header here, there, but you can always use this header there. The first three, it's uh, that is the signal, the first one, power, ground. So you can either use this or that. That's these are these two are the same. Let me go back to the menu to show something quickly. Um, right now the settings I have it's the PIDs. Uh, high on 25 let me do less so for example 14 to show what happens I'll put some manual motion uh, we'll go you'll see it takes some time to settle down when it comes back it goes very slow to the position 
what will happen if I get too much proportional speed? For example, let's take 35. Let's go and then come back. You'll see it overshoots a little bit. It then moves back to the point. Also, that better. Let's let's do it more to show what I mean. Let's do it 70. Okay. Takes time to settle down. So I can show it here. Graph two. I go up. Settle point of results. Yep. I'll do it a little bit more. Oh, that goes to Wasquelet now. And that's what Wasquelet looks like. So I'm going to decrease the. Alright, so I decrease it like there is no oscillation now, supposedly. But if I move it, still it's too much because you'll see I go up and then it has a little bounce there before it settles down. Alright. Okay, so um, I found like that that the best setting for it is about 25 for this motor, for this configuration here. So I'm gonna save it. Let's see. Stops exactly. Okay, has a little bit of delay, but it's not much. So, uh, another thing I want to show you, I, I've left the rest ID0 for this because I have another um, PID loop inside the motor that handles the uh, handles the speed so when for example it says when all system are go it's a target speed so target speed is zero let me change it for enough so you can you'll see here that the, when I command to change position, it, it's not in target, so it tries to go to that target, so it sets the speed. Okay, but you can see here the load, actually, how much was used. Uh, I guess when it goes to 100%, it gives you an error, <laughs> it shuts down, so it doesn't overload. Oh, another thing, to really pay attention on this is the RAS. Try to put it as low as possible. If you put it high, I'll put it high now to show you what happens. Let's try to move it. Oops, what happened? Keeps bouncing back and forth. Well, this setting RAS is supposed to make the motor go as smooth as possible to the target position and target speed, but doesn't care if it's off, so it will may go really off until it settles down. So I'll just set that to low for now. So again, I have the max speed that's 800. It will go as fast as I tell it. Like if I put there 200, okay, it will go up to 200. Let's put it on uh, 80. That's the max speed that takes 80 RPM. Okay. I'll put it back to 800. Okay. So, so. Far. Let's see what else we have. The max motor speed from the MC. Let's. I have it on 50 now. So, what will happen if I increase it here? Um, let's put it on. Actually, that's the online speed. That doesn't really matter right now. I leave it. That's the online speed is when the motor is connected. 
uh, on the game so it gets data from the game right now it's in offline mode because I'm using the manual mode to control it so I press one more this is the offline speed that's the mode we're using now to control the motor at the moment so let's increase that I'll put it 50% now what will happen I'm hoping that it will go much, much faster. Alright, because so far we're running the speed on... Uh, the speed was 30% uh, only, now I'm putting it to 50%. Now, I know what you'll say about putting it on 100% percent let's do it. I won't guarantee that it won't slow down. But we can try. Let's see what happens. Wow. I'm afraid that I'm gonna break the gearbox there. Okay. But it stays. It's not going too much off. With enough calibration, it won't even bounce back and forth. Okay. So. Uh, so remember, when you're doing the first steps to do the offline speed at the online speed really low, like 25%, maybe, that's enough, that's more logically, you can even do it less, like 8%, it will go really slow, so you don't have, have problem to break something. So, the speed of that, it's different from the speed that gets from the program, the actual motor speed. So if you have a motor that has nominal speed 800, it, that's it. You can decrease it, like from software. You can always decrease it from here. Uh, let me put it back to... I think I had um, 30%. There it is. Let's go to something else. I have here the feedback limits. Uh, this is how much it will go, actually, I don't need that, that's the sensor rotation, because you may have to install this in a sec uh, different sensor uh, direction, like this configuration is like that, but I really want the sensor to measure another m motor that wants to go opposite way, so, um, let's change the 